Today we are playing one of the biggest technological breakthroughs in gaming that I have ever witnessed. It's called AI Dungeon, and basically this is an AI generated text based adventure. It's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, Clint, Jake, Nico are going to be the players of their own bizarre infinite adventure and I will uh, be feeding their inputs to the AI dungeon, which will then tell them where their story goes. There's only one rule, one simple rule. Every input must begin with a verb. Punch the cat, throw the baby, etc. Without further ado, pick setting, zero, fantasy, of course, it's recommended. Yeah. <laughs> pick a character. A noble, a knight, a squire, a wizard, a ranger, a peasant, or a rogue. Let's be a, let's be a knight. We can start as a knight. That's classic. Yeah. A knight. A noble knight. What is your knight's name? Fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Fiddlesticks. Sir Fiddlesticks. <laughs> Generating story. Oh, that's, that's it? literally it. Yep. <laughs> Accessing the mainframe. Story acquired. You are Sir Fiddlesticks, a knight living in the kingdom of Larian. You have a steel longsword and a wooden shield. You are on a quest to defeat the evil dragon of Larian. You've heard he lives up north. You set on the path to defeat him and walk into a dark forest. As you enter the forest, you see a large black dragon flying around above you. He looks like a cross between a griffin and a wervin. <laughs> so a dragon. Is that the dra is that the dragon? That's gotta it's be, that's gotta obviously be dragon. the dragon. Is that okay, first the dragon? Thing, first things first, we have a wooden shield. That's a serious <laughs> problem when you're gonna fight a dragon. Maybe it's a good dragon. Maybe if we call out like, Rah! It has been eternally known as the evil okay, dragon. Okay, no, okay, okay. Wait, find a strategically advantaged position to attack the dragon. You look around and see nothing that will help you out. Oh no! You decide to search the landscape for a strategically advantageous position. You begin by looking towards the southeast. There's a small village there, but it's not very well defended. Call out to the dragon and ask him to talk. No, no. You call out to the dragon and ask him if he'd be willing to talk with you. <laughs> the dragon flies over to you and lands on oh. your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> How big is what? this dragon? <laughs> <laughs> <a little> guy. <laughs> he asks what you want from him. You tell him you need his help against the evil wizard <laughs> who has been attacking near villages nearby. Oh, things the plot thickens. The, plot thickens. Thickens. <laughs> the dragon tells you that he doesn't know, but he thinks it might be at the top of a mountain. You tell him that you'll go to find out. Then you both fly off into the sky. <laughs> really? Like right. this? Like you so grab it? Yeah, yeah. You hold on to his little feet <laughs> and you go flying off to the to the mountain. Ask the dragon. A lot of role play. I like this. If he's getting tired flying. <laughs> Ask the dragon. Ask. You look up to the dragon, and the dragon says that they aren't getting tired, but he does feel like he should rest more often. <laughs> you agree and give him permission to do so. You both land near a small lake and sit down. Okay. Which then you ask, ask, ask the dragon <laughs> if he will help us forge a metal shield with his fire. Okay. You tell the dragon you'd love to forge a shield with his fire, but he says he can't because he needs to keep up his strength. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say anything. You... Wait, All right. Okay, wait, wait. Man, we rock the dragon color. to sleep. The dragon slept, sleeps, but then you wake up the dragon. <laughs> And you tell him you've had enough of sleeping all day. You tell him you want to make him something special for his birthday. What? <laughs> you tell him that you'll rock him to sleep. And when you're done, you'll let him sleep until morning. Wait, so which one are we doing? All right, so you, you tell him. That's his birthday uh, gift. That is his yeah. birthday uh, Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, tell the dragon happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> You tell the dragon happy birthday, and he smiles back at you before falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the dragon's breathing as he sleeps, and you roll over to check on him. <laughs> when you get closer... <laughs> oh, no. When you get closer, <laughs> you realize he isn't breathing at all! <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> Dragon! Oh, we never knew it again! Oh my god! We 
<laughs> now we're just stuck out here. We're stuck out here. Where are we? <laughs> are you Sam <Sam's> crying? <laughs> Sam's crying. Dragon. Oh my god. Dude, hey, at least oh he died god. on his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> he died in his sleep. Just just cry. Just cry. Just let it let it decide what happens. Just cry. cry. <laughs> <laughs> you cry as you watch the dragon die. <laughs> I thought it was already dead. You wonder why you didn't save him earlier. <laughs> or why you didn't try harder to convince him to forge a shield. <laughs> by this fire. Perhaps you were too afraid. Maybe you were just being stubborn. <laughs> Nutty. That is nutty. <laughs> Twists on this are crazy. Wait, bury the dragon. You bury the dragon in a 30 foot deep grave. You think about how much you hate dragons now. <laughs> They're always attacking you and you never seem to be able to fight them off. <laughs> what? You also think about how you wish you could take one with you on your journey. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bizarre. Yeah. Right. Uh, I wow. think that's the end of our story, boys. Wow. Ready to start a new one? Yes. yes. At least he died peacefully in his sleep. You roll Please over. rate story quality. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> All right. New game. Noble, knight, squire, wizard, ranger, peasant, or rogue. Peasant. What's your name, peasant? McDoodle. McDoodle X. <laughs> McDoodle X. You are McDoodle X, a peasant living in the kingdom of Larian. You have a pitchfork, nothing else. You wake up and begin working in the fields. You see a woman walking towards you with a child on her back. She is beautiful, but you know she is your mother. <laughs> you look at her face and realize it's your own. <laughs> all right, all right. What? This is terrifying. Pinch yourself. Are you dreaming? You awake. <gasps> <gasps> and find yourself lying on the floor. Your hand is covered in mud. You look around and notice that you are in a small room. A man stands behind you holding a long knife. Oh. I am not going to hurt you, he says, but I will tell you this. You are my son. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? You ask. <laughs> the man turns his head slightly and smiles. His eyes seem to be filled with sadness. <laughs> oh, no. wrestle, the, wrestle the knife out of his hands. You grab the knife and shove it into your mouth. Ah! What? <laughs> the man's eyes widen as he screams. You pull the knife out of your mouth and throw it away. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my no, God. no, he cries. It was just a joke. <laughs> what? <laughs> Slap the man. Loudly. Slap the man. How slap dare you yeah, slap joke him. like that? You slap the man and push him back against the wall. And you slap him across the face. He falls backwards onto the ground. <laughs> urinate on him. Yeah, urinate on him. That's, That's right. Urinate on the man. <laughs> you turn around and urinate on the man. He screams in pain. <laughs> I will ask him, Take are the you knife, my... stab the man. Wait, okay. You grab the knife and stab the man repeatedly oh. in the chest. Oh, man. Blood pulls down his shirt. Now, now ask him if he's really your father. <laughs> ask the man if he's really my father. He nods. Bandage <laughs> 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 <Finish> the wounds. <laughs> I told you guys not to do this. I told you not to, not to do this. I will ask him. Take the knife. Stab the man. We just killed our own father. You wrap the wounds closed and tie a piece of cloth over them. You then put some oil on it and rub it all over the wound. <laughs> Tell the man it was just a joke. Oh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> That's good. He says, I am sorry. All right. Begin laughing. You laugh and say, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, never stop laughing. You continue laughing until you fall asleep. <laughs> A few days later, you wake up. But now, 
You're in a large castle. There are many people walking about. They don't make eye contact with you or acknowledge your existence. You enter a room and see a tall, thin man dressed in black robes sitting in a chair. He has a long beard and wears a crown made of gold. He stares at you for a moment before speaking. Who are you? He asks. Respond. Kill him and take his crown. Tell him you're his son. Shave his beard. Shave his beard <laughs> and his beard. you stand up and walk towards the man. As soon as you reach him, you grab his beard and hold it between your lips. <laughs> 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 he, he gasps and lets go of his crown. <laughs> put the crown on your head. <clears throat> Become king. You put the crown on your head and place it on top of your head. You stare at the man who continues to stare at you. <laughs> Declare loudly tell that him, you are now the king. Tell, yeah, yeah. You shout loudly and point at the man. He stops staring at you and now stares at the ceiling. <laughs> oh boy. No. We're gonna send the man to the dungeon. Yeah. You send the man to the dungeons. He sits there quietly crying. <laughs> you sit beside him <laughs> and begin to cry too. <laughs> uh, stay in the dungeon for the rest of my life. You remain in the dungeon for the rest of your life. Eventually, you die of starvation. You died. Game over. <laughs> All right. And there you have it. Woo. Amazing. Ooh. Dude, yeah. nothing tops that first one, though. Wow. Yeah, that first one was great. So actually, anybody can play AI Dungeon. It's free. I believe it's just like AIDungeon.io. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this and like to see more of these videos, consider subscribing. We'll be making more because this was hilarious. There's so many more things to explore here. So yeah. many crazy things. I've had some really crazy stories.